we're wrapping this up right now, and it's it's sports hoarding. Everybody has a box or even a closet full of old trophies, old equipment. Like, Rich, do you have your first ever glove? I do. Is that garbage? I do because now you're categorizing really sentimental pieces with garbage. I'll give you an example. Sentimental piece. My T-ball glove, my Wilson George Brett name on it, yeah, Little League was, glove. Uh, who was the autograph from? Robin Yount? I said George Brett. George Brett. Yeah. Mine was uh, Jim Palmer. My next one was Ozzy Smith. That was my shortstop pitching glove. Ozzy. Nice. Now, that was my Rawling special. That's sentimental. That's important. You know what's not? My mom called me saying, Richie, I have a bunch of programs from Shea Stadium. Mets programs from 83. I'm like, Mom, are they in a hey, package? You never know. Rick, mint- Rick from Pawn Stars might give you uh, <laughs> two bucks for those. I was like, mint condition? Nope. It's like my mom would have these Hess trucks. On the East Coast, there's a gas station called Hess. I don't know if it's out here, but every holiday season, the Hess truck's back and it's better than ever. Hey, yeah. Uh, hey, yeah. Uh, uh, the, the Hess, Hess truck's, truck's back. back. They would always, I don't know if there's a gas station out here. Guys got to take that on the road. The right. Hess, you like those harmonies? Yeah. The Hess truck. They would always talk about, like, yeah, if you have the old ones, they're worth money. Yeah, if they're in the box in mint condition. My mom had, like, 50 Hess trucks, and when I helped her move recently, I'm like, (laughs) throw these all out. The boxes are destroyed. They're not good. Stop it. You're a hoarder. Stop it. Well, dude, again, let's not go too off track. Like the Lionel train set that your dad has in the (laughs) attic that's going to be worth millions of dollars someday. Throw it out. Throw it out or keep it. Look, we're talking sports memorabilia or sports equipment, sports hoarding. And I do have this vision of sugar plums and displays. Like, I have (laughs) autographed basketballs, autographed footballs, boxing gloves, and they're all in bins and storage. That's trash to Rich. Rich says get rid of it because according to Rich's theory, if I haven't cared about it in four years, it's trash. Well, I still have this vision that one day I'll be able to display it proudly mounted in a case and I could, you know, have a room to myself or a, a, a finished well, basement with a pool table or something. So you're dumping, no finish on, that, first of all, you're no, dumping yeah. on that dream and oh, in that okay. vision, and that's all why right. a lot of people right. hold on to this stuff. Danny, yep. I, I have thoughts, but uh, take it away, because I know you're passionate as well about this. Well, I, one of the reasons that I'm fired up about this topic is because, and it's a quick trivia question for you guys, what is the annual total that do you think that um storage companies have made in one year this is from 2020 this stat right here in front of me that's a good one because there's a lot of people that are like oh i'll use it for a couple months and they don't they use it forever so every month they're like oh 80 bucks the total revenue for storage companies in the u.s in the year 2020 oh it's got to be built i might be i I don't want to shoot your i'm saying it's a billion dollar industry okay covino billion yeah Yeah, i was gonna say if if not hundreds of millions maybe even a billion because i'm thinking of every bozo if they're paying 80 bucks a month and there's hundreds of thousands of people probably doing this spotty what do you think oh yeah uh they're always jacking up the rates oh no rent control yeah every six months is when they end your promo and there's a reason you're asking by 50 dollars 750 million no this is a real number, okay? Thirty-nine billion dollars. What? With a B. In storage. In storage. And this was four years ago. Oh man! If anything, they're making oh, more like right now. Holy. And so, storage wars and those shows. Oh my God! There's yeah, a reason, right? There yeah. is a huge reason, and they are capitalizing on all of us who have had World War II grandparents and people who have hoarded and kept all their things. Like a little storage unit in the L.A. area, hundred and fifty dollars a month. Oh. And by the way, we gotta place. say that we're using the term hoarding loosely after seeing the other shows on TV about hoarding. <laughs> like, Of course, nobody's like that, but yeah. we keep a lot of this stuff and it takes up a lot of space. You're buying extra storage. Danny G showed us one of his closets. It's full of sporting equipment. I, I of No it. offense, Danny. If you post that at Danny Gradio, Danny G Radio, spot, po- put it on uh, at Covino and Rich too if you don't mind. I see a closet of stuff where I'd be like, well, I'd keep like two of those things. Yeah. <laughs> like, I like his I, XFL football. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What do you have an, like, see, I, I feel like you, you work in our world, especially radio, television. You accumulate, you a, lot accumulate of a lot of you do. freebies. Like, oh, look, uh, you know. And, and for us, it triggers a memory. Like I have a Pharrell signed NBA basketball 
And it's when he came to the studio and he talked sports with us. Scotty Fro? <laughs> yeah. Shake hey. it off. Shake it off. Hey, Danny Would you G. like me to pour you? Danny G, way um, to meet you, man. By the way, your dude Pharrell, uh, Pharrell Williams just had a huge Louis Vuitton fashion show in Paris. Yep. And everyone from LeBron James to Jay-Z, Rihanna. To Kim Kardashian. Kim Kardashian. Everyone was out there. He's the new spokesman. He's the new male spokesman for Louis Vuitton. Speaking Crazy. of Pharrell. Look at Crazy. That. Yeah. Like a couple of things I have in my storage unit. A Master P doll. Where you push the back of him and he talks. Just, he, uh, says, uh, he says, na, 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 na. Yo, we had that. I swear to God. I have what, like, I have all these toys and trinkets <laughs> from record companies for from two and a half decades and CDs and vinyl and all in oh, turntables and guitars and all this stuff. What do you do with that stuff? You're going to display it one day in your man cave. And Rich says no because he's in the process yeah. of doing this. I'm going to, you guys are like, uh, do you remember one of my favorite movies of all time? Have you seen Shawshank Redemption, Danny? Uh, only 175 times all the way Arguably, through. arguably the, the best movie in of all time. In my top five. Yeah, in my top okay. five of all time. We could agree with that. Shawshank, top five movie of all time. Okay. These are pipe dreams. <laughs> you guys have pipe <laughs> dreams like pipe? Andy Dufresne. Yes. Because Kavino said, oh, my finished basement. There's or no fin- office or something no, like that. There's no finished basements Why? in LA. People don't have basements I'll here have for the most room. part. Um, I, I grew up in, with the Cribs generation. Where I'm going to have these jerseys and these things mounted in my game room. I, I just promise you, with kids, a wife, and life, you're lucky if one day you buy a ridiculously overpriced home in Southern California. Here's what I I picture Kavino hanging, because I know he has these things. You're going to be selective and you want it to look sleek and cool. Kavino's going to have a Mike Tyson, hey, two Kavino. Iron Mike Tyson boxing glove, which I know you have. Mm-hmm. You have a Derek Jeter signed bat from like a World Series. Mm-hmm. You have a few really nice items. All this other junk, like that's my Alfonso Soriano signed plaque. <laughs> that is going nowhere. So, so you said there's like, different uh, tiers. Yeah, what I'm saying I, is, are you kidding? The Dominican Dream. <laughs> <laughs> that's going definitely in my man cave. Oh, well, Kavino's. Uh, no, you're, you're, rich. Uh, rich puts no value on anything personal. In fact, he's redoing his entire garage right now as like a den. And he's calling it the Gal Garage because he's not hanging any of his own personal my wife, things there. My wife's taking most of it over. I, do you know what I want to hang in my house? And just to show you that I don't not value things, I feel like you have to focus on a couple big items. I have a baseball that was signed by the entire 1986 Mets team. It's my most valuable prized possession. And I'm not a guy into material things, but um, it's fantastic. So I have that and a signed Montana jersey. I don't know if, any, and I have a Mike Tyson glove, and we love Iron Mike here on the show. So, if I were to decorate my office or garage or den or man cave, if you're not going to be, you're not going to use your 1991 bowling trophy, Cavino. You're not putting that anywhere. No, so it's that trash. Stuff I'm not, yeah, that stuff I'm not going to display, but it is part of the sports hoarding culture. I and guess, this all that we started. Discuss. This all started because I went to Sirius XM, and you know we were there for years before we made the great move to FSR. We were at SXM. Great people there. But they gave me all these boxes of like, oh, you guys, uh, we found these old boxes. And I'm thinking, what's in there? You know, uh, from 2016, uh, you know, a, a poster with Cavino's face on it from a Vegas event we did. Oh, I'll hang one of those up. Hey, I just watched Creed 3, right? <laughs> I just watched Creed 3. What did Adonis Creed have in his sweet ass place? He had like a little a mural, a mural yes. of, his, of yes. himself, right? He was all proud with his belts there and everything. Yeah. It's not bragging. It's like, yo, this is what I do. This is what I'm proud of. This is what I like or whatever. You it don't think it I would, tells your life story. Yeah, you don't think I would hang one of those posters? Oh, you can hang a belt. You can hang a belt when you had a size 32 waist. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Whatever. You know, I'm talking to a guy who puts no value in anything, so you're never going to understand or relate. But when I have that, don't come and tell me it looks great or don't come and try to swag my steez when you're when you're like, man, oh, man, I should have hung those things up, too. Damn by you're you're going you're gonna to look at it and you're going to say, yo, that, that was dope. You've made a fine career in, in sports and entertainment. Do you do you envision like all this memorabilia, or do you feel like a couple unique items are what you would do? Uh, you need a couple of unique items, and I just know from experience. I used to collect sporting news the when I was the newspaper, yeah. mm-hmm. and I thought when I was thirteen that I would love to look back one day on those. And, and then did. that day actually happened a couple of years ago when I went to my mom's and looked through all my stuff, and I said. 
I'm not going to care about these in 30 years, so I threw them out. Yeah. But to Cavino's point of all the Yankee stuff that he may be holding on to, there is stuff that you thought 20 years ago that, yeah, I can't wait to display this and put this somewhere. And it just completely is doesn't match anything else that would be in the room. Yep. Maybe a picture is faded or a jersey is faded. Or it's like it's, a weird color wood, like yes, a light wood. Yes. Like, I don't want this light wood. And, and things, I mean, yes. memorabilia has stepped up. So I do agree and understand what you're talking about. Like something that you thought was back, you know, cool back in the 90s. Oh, doesn't necessarily yeah. look you that know, cool It sounds anymore. like old tattoos versus new tattoos. Yeah, you know what yeah, I have? Yeah. That's a, honestly, I agree. I'll give you one more piece of memorabilia that I think is pretty cool that I had. We knew that we were having Hulk Hogan on the show. So I have a yellow Hulkamania tank top, and he signed it like, too rich. Thanks for being a Hulkamania. Don't you also have, that's, a, zip, that's something you have that's, a, a Ziploc you know? bag of his mustache trimmings? <laughs> no, <laughs> I have a, no, George Edmund steals steal chest hair. Oh, uh, no, okay. <laughs> well, so, hoarding, or is it, you know, sentimental or is it something you plan on displaying either way you're contributing probably to the 39 billion dollar industry of storage if you're keeping a lot of this stuff what so about something the, what we were talking so about. when you go to your parents house yeah and they have that badminton set in the garage or the pogo stick or the 25 <laughs> wiffle balls in the box of 50 old worn out baseballs that you did home run derbies with the sad reality is that one day Hopefully it's when they're 90 or 100 years old. Uh, people pass away. You know what happens? It all gets thrown out. So I just feel like I want to minimize the drama for my kids in 50 years. <laughs> like, I, you know, I want to I go one day when I'm an old guy, 100 years old, like, Ugh! And then be like, my kids not have well, to go through dad's old Sports Illustrated. Stuff. Rich, thanks to my wife, you'll be uh, proud to hear that a few weekends ago I went to the storage unit and I told them, please give me the smallest one you have. And I spent the entire weekend transfer throwing things away and downsizing and fitting into the smallest unit they have, which is still 120 bucks a wow. month. Oh. Your wife's and- going to invite me over for dinner. To- <laughs> She's going to be like, go-, go over to any stuff with it one more time. <laughs> well, one day, you know what? I'm going to display in my man cave. Danny J, you're going to love this. I have an autographed Luis pa- Luis Polonia uh, no, job oh, strap. Yeah. Dude, it's Luis Soho. <laughs> Get it right. <laughs> Uh, I no. have a Shaq game worn shoe. No, it looks like that's a, cool. Looks like a boat. I got a Shaq and Kareem autographed on the same bed. I just need uh, Magic Johnson on that bad boy. See, that's a thing. Yeah. I, I get it, Rich. If it's junk and it's weathered, like Buyer points out, I agree with that. But if it looks good and it's from a celeb that we all respect and love, then I and don't want to throw that away. And it's mounted yeah. properly, or you can easily mount it properly. Exactly. You buy these cases on Amazon. Do it yourself. So, again, one man's uh, trash is another man's treasure. Sports hoarding is Cavino and Rich. Oh, can I give one more piece of advice when sure. we're talking about keeping stuff? We're talking about sports memorabilia. Keep the special items. And, of course, if something means something, like, oh, it was the first game I went to with my, uh, my grandpappy. Of course you're going to keep that program from a 1990 Reds game. I get it. But when it comes to clothes, a lot of people hoard clothes, too, and – we were very fortunate. Kavino and I did a, a TV show for a couple of years at ESPN. And that gave me an idea that I still use to this day, even though we're not on TV yet again. I would say if I'm not willing to wear this on a date night with my wife, or if I'm not willing to wear this on the set of a TV show, when am I ever going to wear it? And I immediately said, donation pile. A lot of people do. Kavino and I always joked that. You would keep old sweats and say, oh, you know, if I end up playing tackle football one day. You're a 40-year-old guy. You're not playing tackle football one day. <laughs> you know, for uh, when I paint, uh, yeah. you're not painting You're not painting. Anything. You hired painters. You know, <laughs> like, you're not so, painting anything. So all the things we make excuses for, like, oh, this old ratty shirt when I wash my car. No, you go to the car wash. You don't wash your car. Exactly. So just yeah. a reminder, not to, accumulate, it. not to accumulate stuff. Give it to someone else who may look at it as a treasure. And don't, don't compile all this junk in your house because look at your parents' house, like you said. They got your uh, He-Man figures in their attic, and they want to get rid of them.